Good afternoon, Wrinklers, from a very drizzly, miserable day in London on March the 3rd. Well, actually, it's not a miserable day. I'm having really quite a nice time. Uh, going to tell you all about uh, national, well, international, actually, Poetry Month in April. April is International Poetry Month and uh, has been since 2003 when off the back of what was the uh, write a novel in a month that Linda took part in earlier in the year which is uh, NaNoWriMo we're going to take part in April in NaPoWriMo I know Dr Doolittle <laughs> help. Uh, so the Napo Rimo is um, write a poem a day if you want to do that or get involved with poetry just get involved. Uh, Linda and I are both gonna write a poem a day. My intention is to uh, do something like this, concertina book and uh, I'm going to choose something really simple, probably something like my garden or writing about plants or something. I, I would suggest if uh, if it's something that you want to do, don't make it difficult for yourself. Just get yourself a notebook, nice notebook, something type of thing. Something that attracts you and you feel will motivate you and give it a go so you can write the poems for yourself you can print them if you want to on the web in a blog um, there's lots of information on the napo rimo website and uh, we'll put links below to help you and you can follow along with us for a bit more motivational help i guess and i really hope that you will engage with National Poetry Month and get a lot out of it, a lot of pleasure. It's certainly a way of dealing with yet more lockdowns, yet more COVID, yet more, uh, yeah, all of that. Thanks ever so much for listening.